Okay, next we're gonna be bedding the barrel. And for that, I use a couple of things. Um, I got nickel anti-seize. I use that on the barrel threads, or receiver threads. Also ends up on the barrel, not threads. And I use Loctite 620. And what I'm doing there is, move this a little bit. I'm just trying to, um, you know, reduce some of the play that's in here, in this joint right here. So, if you put the barrel in, it fits in there pretty snugly, but you, you know, you can see that there's play in there. And this is going to be a precision build, so I want things to, um, to be as tight as possible and to remove that play out of there. So... For that, I'm going to use Loctite 620. Basically, I just smear it around the uh, the barrel extension and put it in there. Torque everything down, and then I leave it. Uh, I'll put it upright, and then I'll leave it uh, to dry overnight. And of course, I'll make sure that I don't get any of that on the threads. And if there's any that seeps onto the inside of the receiver, I clean that up as well but the idea is just to take that um, any play out of there so that it fits in there as snugly as possible other people use um, you can use like stainless steel uh, shim stock to um, to basically wrap it around here and you kind of shim it um, there are some receivers that are a little bit undersized on purpose and they're called like thermal fit and you might have to like heat this part up in order to even get this to fit in here um, I don't have that in this particular receiver so I'm gonna be doing this and I've already got my anti-seize on the threads and this I'm just going to kind of slather all the way around here Make sure I got it everywhere. And some of this will squeeze out, and that's fine. We'll clean it up. We'll get a little more, a little bit more on there. I've done this on a number of builds, and whether or not it makes any major difference, it's hard to know. We haven't tested it with and without enough to know for sure, but I do know that. It's not terribly hard to do, and so why not? And as I put this in here, I just kind of wiggle it back and forth to kind of seat some of that um, and disperse it more evenly. And we got some coming out already. So I'll just clean that up a little bit. I uh, get a Q-tip. I just want to clean the rest of this up so there's none that I'm going to get on the barrel threads or sorry I keep saying that the barrel nut threads okay underneath yeah it looks pretty good so now I'm just threading this on this is a steel barrel nut came with the handguard um, you can see there's there's no timing involved here which is great so I'm going to get it on there, and then I have this all inside this, um, oh, what do they call these things? Yeah. Barrel extension torque tool. The idea is that this mates it with the uh, steel barrel extension so that when you're torquing this down, you're not putting any uh, stress on the aluminum receiver. See there, it's seated into the barrel extension. The only... Uh, force that you're putting on it is on the actual barrel nut and um, the barrel extension and this um, I forget if I can't if it came with this or I purchased this separately but uh, this is kind of like a clawfoot type wrench 
Great to go with this barrel nut. Fits it perfectly. And it's set for a, um, I can use my uh, torque wrench with it. So what I'm gonna do here is just torque this down. And what they say to do is go to about 30 foot pounds and then loosen it. And I always I use, just use a breaker bar to loosen it so I'm not doing that with the torque wrench. Oops, wow, that was, that was tightening it, that was good. We go we'll just loosen it and then I'll torque it to 30 pounds again 30 foot pounds and I do this three times why do we do this three times I don't know this, I think, came out of like an army manual or something, but basically you're trying to seat the barrel against uh, the receiver face and make sure it's actually seated properly before, um, before you can really trust the torque value that you're getting. All right, so now I've done it three times, and now... I'm going to set it to a final value of, I don't know, probably about 50 foot pounds. Apparently you can go all the way up to like 85 and that's fine. Um, I don't think I need it quite that tight. So let's see, there we go. That's about 50, 55, somewhere in there. Okay, she's good and tight. So I'm just going to pull this out of here and I'm gonna look in there yeah I got a little bit I can't see I got a little bit of that Loctite coming out this side but really not much I want to make sure that I clean that up while it's still wet and then I'm gonna put this thing upright there I just put that upright and that way I put, put the barrel back on it and I just leave it sit like that I usually leave that sit overnight let that retaining compound dry and then we should be good to go Next thing we'll do is kind of throw all the other pieces on the, um, I'll put my bolt carrier group back together, um, put the gas block on, gas tube, hand guard, and then it should be ready to, to go shoot.